Welcome to this week's edition of the Matthew Minute, where news topics are presented in a brief format. I'm your host, Matthew Deichner, and we're 31 days since the raid on President Trump's premier resort, Mar-a-Lago. Yesterday, documentation, including sensitive materials explicitly describing foreign nations' nuclear power, was uncovered. This information was so secretive that only the President and Cabinet members had access to it. It's also worth noting that within this year, over 300 private documents have been removed from the premises in Mar-a-Lago. The first vaccine for malaria, one of the deadliest diseases on the planet, has been developed by scientists at the University of Oxford. The researchers say that one of the largest benefits of this vaccine is that it's very inexpensive to manufacture and there's already a deal lined up to produce the first 100 million doses. Speaking of vaccines, the CDC is now recommending for the first updated booster shot for the COVID-19 strain. The main benefit of the new doses are the additions of Omicron BA4 and BA5 spike protein components to the current formula of the vaccine. Pfizer shots are available for anyone 12 and older, and Moderna is an option for those 18 and up. Finally, in Indiana news, the state will be taxing student debt relief as income, meaning anyone who receives the full $10,000 would be taxed at the 3.23% rate and pay back at least $323, plus any applicable local taxes. Democrats are against the move, with Representative Greg Porter saying, quote, I can't say I'm surprised Indiana has chosen to take a punitive stance on a policy meant to give working class Americans relief, but there's still time to change this. That wraps up this week's top stories. I'm Matthew Degner, and remember to stay informed.